What's going on, you guys? I'd like to you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Moon Knight episode one. Um, I had heard a lot about this uh, from some some people I really really trust. As far as them saying, like, hey, man, this is one of the best uh, uh, MCU uh, shows you, you're gonna see, bro. It's like it's a lot of people calling it their favorite already. Um, I'm a big fan of Oscar Isaac. Tremendous actor, does great work. So I was expecting, I'm not going to say I was expecting a lot, but I was expecting him to be good. And God damn it, he was good. Okay, through this first episode, I absolutely loved the accent, the way he just played. I'm not, we didn't. We haven't even really got the chance to like see him like switch through characters and everything like that, but I'll get to all that in just a second. Um, quick synopsis for the uh, first episode. Stephen Grant learns that he may be a superhero, but may also share a body with Ruth. A, with a ruthless mercenary. Now, granted, we get that, but like we just watch an episode and you just kind of like see him tying himself up at night, you know, then covering it, uh, us around his bed with sand. You just kind of like, okay, what is this guy on? Like, you know, he hasn't been sleeping. And, and then he goes into work. Okay, first of all, Donna sucked. Just want to put that out there real quick. Donna, you a bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even call Donna a bitch, but Donna, you is an asshole, though. You know what I'm saying? And like, he just like kind of going through things and he's having conversations with people they're telling him stuff and he just like he kind of don't know what's going on so you kind of see that like hey his other personas have been taking over his well you you pretty much figure that like his other personas have been taking over his body and he don't really know too much about it he just pretty much like a chia dude you know he knows his history knows about art knows you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much what he wants to be involved in but you know donna tripping you feel me donna you're a bitch my bad donna you didn't deserve that or you did one or two Sorry, I have a split personality. You know, they just be jumping in and out. But nonetheless, um, so I'm I'm liking that. Oscar Isaac is just crushing it. You know, I'm completely invested in him or something. Because I'm just like, okay, this dude here is really going through it. And like he's stressed the hell out. I'm like, bro, are you you good, bro? <laughs> Apparently not, but I'm just asking just you know, just because, you know, just to be courteous. And he wakes up another time. Because he, he's getting ready for his date with one of his co-workers. He's just like, oh, shoot. I'm about to go on me a date. I'm to me a date. I'm about to go on me. He's talking to statue. He's doing so many different, like, that's kind of like weird stuff, right? And then, boom. He wakes up in the middle of nowhere. But it's actually somewhere because he just stole something for these people. So, now they shooting at him. He just running. Okay. Steven just trying to get it. Okay. What the hell is I doing? These people is shooting at me. Now, granted. I couldn't imagine being in my bed, waking up in some grass, looking up, waving at people, and then people immediately starts to shoot at me. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm at. But that is terrifying. That is terrifying. Like, I don't think people just think of I, I think a lot of times we just get caught up in, like, the superhero aspect and, and just, like, the craziness of these worlds. But just certain stuff you just got to think about. That is freaking terrifying, man. He seems like a super, super, super chill dude who really don't get active at all. I don't think he probably, he probably don't even have a lot of sex. It seems like he just, like, been chilling. He don't do nothing. So I'm, I'm almost positive this man is not used to being shot at, but, dang, it, it is what it is. Also... There's voices in his head trying to take over his body. They, and they disrespecting him. They just, oh, oh my God, the idiot's back. I'm like, okay, bro. We don't have to be, we don't have to be hurtful to each other, okay? We don't have to, you don't have to say stuff like that. All right? Don't think, don't think name calling is necessary ever. All right? Just want to put that out there, uh, whoever you are. And then we get into this sequence. We just constantly seeing him ducking and dodging, ducking and dodging. But we don't see him really doing the dodging, though. Because he would, he'd jiggle up out of his body, and then he'd, we'd come back, and everything, everybody would be either knocked out or dead. <laughs> Most of the time, they dead, okay? Whoever's taking over his body, I think his, his name is Mark, the other person, or one of the other personas, Mark stretching, bitch. <laughs> Mark is pancaking my vagas, all right? But even before, be, the first time we see Mark actually like pancakes some people, it's when like he's just in this town and we see probably one of the most weirdest instances uh ever. Well you have this guy who has this um this uh this scale tattoo on his arm and what is his name? Uh 
Ethan, oh my God. Ethan Hawk plays Arthur Harrow. That's the guy we see. And he's judging people. And if they're bad people or even going to be a bad person, I guess they he kill them, you know, in, in, in some kind of weird way. I'm just like, okay, just suck the life out of this lady. In a way, I'm pretty sure she didn't want it. I mean, no, it is what it is, teacher. Um, so he approaches Mark uh, or 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 Stephen, and he, he like he's trying to get Stephen had this scarab, okay? He has this scarab that they're trying to get from him, and, and Stephen wants to give it to him. It's just the other personas won't allow him to. Therefore, Stephen starts killing people, but he doesn't know he's killing people. He goes on the run. They have a car chase scene. Now, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I felt kind of robbed because I'm like, wait a minute. But he just killed all these people? I didn't get to see none of it? I didn't get to see how he killed none of them. I'm like, oh, man. But then I just thought, like, okay, it's more about build up. It's more about building suspense. And I'm like, okay, that is like a, a cool way. And I'm and I'm thinking to myself, like, when he actually does, when we actually do get to see it, it's going to be that much more, you know, dope. You feel me? So... Um, he ends up, you know, jiggling back to his crib. He think everything was a dream. I'm about to go into work. I got a date, everything. Nah, brother, you've been out your body for the past couple of days. That is another terrifying thing that I think we just completely ignore. Like, okay, could you imagine? <laughs> it was today. Today's uh, Thursday. Today, today's, today's Wednesday. I'm chilling, and then the next thing I know is Saturday. I'm thinking I'm just getting up out of my bed. I'm thinking I'm, I, 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 I'm, I wake up, you know, and then I, I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to take my ass back to sleep. And then I wake up, and it's Saturday. And people, I'm getting phone calls from people, and they're just like, oh, bro, last night was crazy, dog. I'm like, I ain't left the house, bro. What are you talking about? Or I get a call from a date like, oh, you, you stood me up, big dog. We supposed to came. I said, I thought we were going out Friday. Well, it's Saturday. I'm like, what? Like, you going to be like wild or not? You don't know what your past self done did. I think I can't remember the movie. I think it was starring, um, Jesus Christ. I think it was Taron Edgerton, I want to say. No, 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 no. Uh, Ansel Elgort. That's who it was. Where... He had two person that well, it was like two. It was literally like two people in one. Where he would go, he one of them would go to sleep and the other one would take over. But they would have to like leave notes to one another as to like what they did, who they talked to, and everything like that. This is kind of that same situation without the notes, <laughs> without the notes, and you can't even. It's no point of you you even telling what the other one, other people what you're doing because they don't care. Because they can watch you. Like they see everything you do. But you don't know nothing about what they do. It's just, I'm just like, bro, damn, bro, this is tragic. And then he goes, he goes into work. Not already not feeling good. People are following him. And they walk the scarab. And they just sent this beast. This freaking, this freaking mythical Egyptian beast after him. I forget, it's like a black looking cat. Look like beers from Dragon Ball Z just a taller version and he's after him and he's running and then he starts talking to mark in the bathroom mark like bro i'm not gonna let you die just need you to let let me take let me take over and mark takes over and then we see moon knight beat he not even doing like a, a whole bunch of stuff he just punching the shit out of the beers he just he's just standing over just like just rocking his shit bro I'm, and that's it he don't pull out no you know, moon off his chest and cut him up. He just like, no, nah, I'm just going to punch the shit out of you, bro. Stop playing with me. I'm a gangster. I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't wait to see next episode. I'm really ready to see next episode. Because I really like the 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 the, the struggle of the, you know, different personalities. I like shit like that. Um, and Oscar Isaac is fucking amazing. Like, he's just so fucking good, bro. It's ridiculous. So, I'm invested for show, for show. But I'm really, really, also ready to see, like, there, he got a phone call from someone named Layla. I want to know who that is. 
Cause she been calling him for months, and he ain't been picking up. But which which of him does she know? Does she know Mark? Does she know Stephen? Does she know the super deep voice one, who seems like he does not play? He seems very, I don't know, just angry in general, and he's very insulting. He's he's mean. I think I would say he's mean. Okay, so I'm I'm wondering which one of those we gonna see. Um. Great start to it. I'm not gonna lie. Great start to it. Uh, I think this is going. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you guys, let me know what y'all thought about it down in the comments, though. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys staying safe, and I catch up with you guys later. Peace.